Cute fans, let's try something new today. Many of you have been asking me to do a coloring video and so I thought this would be the perfect time since I just made this coloring page for you guys. Just go to my uh, website at drawsocute.com and you can just download this page and have fun coloring. I hope you like how I added the border to it and think it's really pretty and fun to color because I love coloring. <laughs> I hope you do too. So this is just your um, regular printout, eight and a half by 11 paper, just your basic paper. And these are just your um, basic Crayola markers and basic Crayola color pencils. And the reasons I'm using these, um, this material is because I think that's what most of you guys have. And so I wanted to show you what you could do with them. And so let's get started uh, by drawing, by coloring. I'm so used to saying drawing. <laughs> this is the first time doing this. I said I hope I don't mess it up too much. So we're going to start by coloring her face. So right here I have a, um, if you really wanted to know, it's a peach Crayola color pencil. And the reason I'm using a color pencil for her, uh, her face is because I don't, it's, to me it's really hard to find a really nice, um, skin tone color in uh, your basic Crayola markers. And I also don't like how when you use um, markers it leaves streaks. And so, especially on the face, on the hair it's fine, clothes it's fine, but on the face I like it really nice and smooth. And so that's why I'm using a color pencil. Whew, okay, so there. <laughs> so with this color pencil, I'm going to start by just um, coloring in. And what I like to do is I like to use the sides of the colored pencil. So right here, we're just going to start like this. So how I'm kind of angling my colored pencil, I'm not going straight up and down. I'm using the, the sides of it. And the reason I do that is because I have a big space to color. And this way, I get a nice, smooth color without having some parts too dark or too light. So just try your best to um, angle your pencil down like this. I know it might be hard for some of you guys, but it's all about practice and just having fun um, doing this. So don't worry about it having to be exactly like how mine is, but the tip is to just use the side of the colored pencil. So see, like this, I was able to cover this whole area really fast and pretty evenly without some areas being too dark or too light. And so um, now that it's pretty much covered covered in, I can go back in now with this uh, same color pencil and I'm going to go in and start adding some layers to um, simulate shadows. And the reason I do this, you can leave it like this, but the reason I'm putting shadows is because it really pops up, um, pops out the drawing. And so come in here and now I'm going to use the tip more and I'm going to press harder. So see on right here where the hair is? Under the hair is basically where the shadows would be. So I'm just going to go under here and I'm going to make it darker. And the tip is, is to make it dark right here where the line is, but then kind of slowly fade it out lighter as you come out. So just do that. And so it would be kind of dark over here too. So I'm making this part darker. And you can see already it's popping out um, this face a lot more instead of just a regular uh, boring flat <laughs> one color, one dimension color. So I'm just kind of going around the edges and making it a little bit darker with the same um, color pencil. So most of you know I use uh, a program called Photoshop on a computer to color my drawings. So this is the first time using traditional medium to show you how to color. And so of course it's, it's a lot harder to correct mistakes and a lot harder to um, layer colors, but traditional medium is always more fun and relaxing to do. And I really like how, um, I really love coloring. It's something I really enjoy well when I was a little girl. So see, now the edges are a lot darker, right? And so right here, also the eyebrows, under the eyebrows, you want to make it a little bit darker. So same thing, just go in a little bit heavier with your, with your strokes. So like right there, and then maybe under the mouth a little bit, just go in heavier. Like that. I hope the camera can pick up the subtle, subtle differences. So there, the face is nice and uh, colored in with this uh, flesh colored, peach colored uh, color pencil. 
So now I'm going to go in with um, my kind of like a brown and um, the reason I'm using a brown is because I want to add a little bit more depth to my color. So also along the edges, just very lightly, don't go too dark. Also kind of on the edge of the color pencil. Same thing, just going to add a little bit more depth to my color. So this is just one way to simulate what I do in Photoshop on the computer with just your basic color pencils and markers. So see how it's coming out and see how it looks like the hair is really hanging over the face now. So same thing right here on the sides. So next thing is I'm going to use um, this pink color, um, this is called bubblegum, but you can use any pink that you have and I'm going to uh, shade in the cheeks. So same thing also on the edge of the color pencil, I'm just going to very lightly, sometimes harder because it's very light color pencil, very light pink I mean. So always remember one of the key things about coloring is that it's always easier to go darker than to go lighter. So start with the lightest shade possible and then build up your colors. Because once you go dark, oh, it's over. <laughs> you won't be able to bring it back out with, um, with lighter colors. So if you're afraid of making mistakes, just keep building and building your color. That way you, you won't be, uh, you won't mess up as much. So there, see how I kind of made her cheeks blend in? Hope you can see this um, in the video. But here, I'll make it a little bit darker so hopefully it'll pop out. So you see how I'm just kind of blending it in, going over and over it again. So like that. So very um, pretty pink cheeks. So now that we've got that done, let's go and color her eyes. So I'm using a, uh, this is called Blue Lagoon Crayola Marker. And right here, where the colors are right here, I'm just gonna very quickly, on the tips of it, of course, because this area is really small, just color it in blue like that. And so, oh, now I, I forgot. Let's do all of this skin. I'm sorry. So we've got the ears right here, oh, this side's running out, and we got the skin, the neck, and the hands, so I'm just going to go in there really quickly, color it in, and the legs right here. And once again, come out with, because these areas were smaller, I didn't bother to um, use that color to try to build up any color. I'm just going to go directly with the brown. And so right here, it will be a little bit darker under her chin. And here, inside right here, will be a little bit darker on the edge. So right here, I'm just adding some brown. Or if you had a darker peach, that would be perfect too. But right here on the edges, where the shadows might be. And this really pops it out. It makes it look more 3D than rather than just flat. So they're very fast. So now let's um, color her hair. So her hair is um, a little bit harder because it's a big area and it's brown. And it's really hard to find a really nice light brown um, in these cra basic Crayola markers, but um, this one's just gonna have to do. <laughs> so. Um, the key to coloring with markers is if you're not comfortable and you're afraid that you're going to go over the edges, just outline everything. Outline everything that you're going to color this color. So I'm outlining everywhere that's going to be brown. I'm just going to go around the edges like that. So the reason I started with the face is because 
the color pencil, when you uh, sometimes when you're not that careful, you shade over this black printout line, it's going to fade out the black line. So by doing that first and then going over with a marker, it makes the black lines black again, so I won't have to worry about it. So with um, coloring big areas like this, what I like to do is to stroke, um, to uh, how do you say it? I like to color <laughs> with these strokes that follow the um, the shape of what I'm coloring. So let's say right here, I'm just going to follow my hairline. See how I'm going to curve like this? I just keep going like this. So I just kind of follow it like that. And so right here, I'm just going to leave a little white line here to give it some highlights because I want to add some dimension to my um, hair, not just a flat brown. So don't worry about it having to be solid. It's just um, follow the shape of the hair. And so right here, I kind of want to give it some highlights right here too. So I'm just going to leave this part white and maybe this part white right there. And then for the rest of it, I'm just going to use the sides of my marker again because it's a big area. So I'm just going to follow. See how I'm following? And you want to do this as quick as possible because the longer you stay in one area with a marker, the more the paper is going to soak up the ink and then you're going to be in trouble with um, paper that's going to start tearing and uh, it's going to be a mess. So right here, see how I'm just following this, um, the shape of what I'm coloring. And what's really nice about that is because with the, uh, the markers, it leaves these streaks. But by me doing this, it just kind of looks like strands of hair, right? So it's pretty cool. So. One really nice thing is after I do that, I like to go back in and with the same color and just go back into these areas and make it darker. Same color, just go back in right here where the shadow would be. So right here is where it would be darker. Just follow this line that was right here like that. And so right here under her chin, under her hair, hair it would be darker. So draw a kind of line right here so I color the rest in. So I see how this part is a lot darker. And right here, I'm going to give her some lines, just strands of hair, like that, using this dark color, like that. And so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use a lighter brown that I found. This is just a regular crazy art marker. It was the only light brown that I could find. <laughs> and. Um, I'm going to color this where the highlights are. I'm just going to color in with the light brown. You don't have to do this. It's just if you want to add another dimension to your coloring. I wanted to show you this tip that you could use. So just go back in light brown. See because you, the light brown won't really affect the dark brown anymore. So it doesn't matter. You don't have, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to cover where you left it white, like that. So see, now I've added some dimension to her hair. There's some light areas and dark areas. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> so now, let's uh, color her dress, which is red. So I'm gonna start off with this slightly lighter red, and it's called infrared. And um, same thing, let's go and uh, outline the dress. So, outline the whole thing. The whole thing is going to be red, so I don't have to be too careful. I'm just going to outline the outsides of it. So this drawing video doesn't take forever. I mean coloring video! Did I say drawing again? Oh boy. Forgive me. <laughs> I have to get used to this. So I'm going to color, um, I'm just going to draw an outline around the heart. And once again, I'm just going to follow the dress lines of the dress like that. And keep going. I'm really excited to be bringing you these uh, coloring pages. I hope to make many more for you guys to enjoy and put it up on my website. So just periodically just check out my website and I'll also make announcements on Facebook or Google Plus. But just check out my website and hopefully I'll have more uh, coloring pages and activities. So 
right here is also red, so I'm just going to color this part in red, right here, and the top of her boots. I'm just following the colors I did with my um, Draw So Cute Girl Number no. 1 video, so you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. Just use your imagination. <laughs> so now like what I like to go and do is I go back with the same marker once again and just go back to these areas where it should be darker. So to create that shadow effect. So right here under her chin, I'm basically going to color it in again. And I'm going to see how I made that part darker with the same marker. Just a really cool uh, tip. So and right here also, it's going to be darker edges right here and around her pocket area and maybe under the heart like that and I'll pop it out and so right here same thing it's gonna be darker on the edges like that so now let's go in and um, get the pink oops the side pink for the heart and um, right here I'm going to color the heart right here and you can leave like a little white area if you want it for a highlight and in her oh I made this part red didn't I okay so I guess that's going to be a red sleeve then so let's make that red So now I like to go back with the same pink and uh, just go around the edges again. So always remember just go back in and this really pops it out like that. And now put the purple for her boots. So same thing, you can outline it if you want or just color it in if you feel comfortable enough without uh, going out of the lines. So right here, just go color it in this light purple, and this is a tropical violet that it's called. So same thing here. Just gonna go around the edges, and color it in like that. So now same thing again. Let's go back in. So it's going to be darker here, so I'm just going to go back in with the same marker, also on the edges, and at the bottom, right here, where her boot is, I'm just going to go over again, and with a line following the boot, and right here on this crease area, and on the edges, once again. And so see how it kind of pops up the boot now? The sides are darker, right here in the crease it's darker. Last but not least, what I like to do is with this color right here, because her um, pockets are slightly different colors. So one nice thing about uh, colors is that if you start light, you can always keep building. And so with this color right here, I'm just going to go in and color her pockets again, because the red I was using was just not making it dark enough. But by doing this, I just make this red a lot darker, so it pops out her pockets and the bottom of her dress right here and so once again just go back in on the edges and you can make it darker you can even do that on the edge right here if you want it with this pink for the heart and then it pops it out like that so i'm just gonna because i don't think this part's dark enough I'm going to go back in with this red. It's slightly darker red. This is like a true red. So I'm just going to go in here and build this up darker right here. So you can really see the shadow. And one thing you have to be careful is because it's regular paper, that if you add too much ink, it's going to start tearing the paper. So I'm going to try to not do that. And oh, under the pockets, right here, like that. So, see how this really popped out, right? And now let's not forget the grass. Ooh, I'm 
messing up my beautiful colors. There. Ooh, blue. Perfect. <laughs> and so um, that's a uh, color of the grass. So right here, same thing. I'm just using a very light green. Uh, this is a electric lime. And I'm just going to go around it and go out. I'm just going to stretch this line out a little bit. I'm just going to go under a little bit more like that. And I'm going to come back in with a darker green just for the edges. So under her foot, it's going to be darker, so I'm just going to go under it like that with the darker green. And about right here is going to create a shadow, so that's going to be a little bit darker. And for my dandelion, yellow, of course. <laughs> like that. So there! Oh, one more thing. So what happens is, um, so this is just a regular printout. So sometimes the your printout, your printer might not print the blacks very uh, true black. So what you want to do is, if it's not like true black, you just go back in with a darker black marker, like where the eyes were, and my color pencil kind of muddled up the black right here. So you just go back in right here and color black back in the black, like where the hair is. You can outline it. And so it brings out the black again. It pops everything out like where her foot is. Like that. So there, my draw so cute girl. And I'm gonna start to color all this because this is all up to you, however you want to create it. So I'm gonna color it right now. It's gonna be sped up, but um, I'll show it to you when it's all done. So there, my Draw So Cute girl number one brought to life. Hope you enjoyed this coloring exercise. Don't forget, just go to my website at drawsocute.com and you can find this um, coloring page right here that you can download for free. And I hope you enjoy coloring it and that uh, you learned some uh, new tips from this coloring video. And always uh, remember to just have fun and enjoy all the color possibilities. Don't be afraid to test new colors and new ways of coloring. So, until next time, happy coloring and see you.